Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSE 2007 guys. Okay, so this is the continuation of the previous question. So at that time, they used to give paired questions guys. So the two questions will be on the same concept. And the funny part with those type of questions is, if there are two questions, if you do the first question right, only then the second question will be considered. Okay, so that's the type of funny thing you can say. Okay, yes. So anyway, let us start with this question. So the question is, suppose the same question guys. So A, B, C, D, E, F, R, the probabilities they so now what they are asking is they are asking the average length of the Hoffman code. Okay, so what shall we do guys? Shall we redraw, re redraw the Hoffman tree? Okay, so let us draw what's there in that, right? So it is 1 by 32 and 1 by 32. Okay, so on this side. So now shall we do this side guys? Okay, so anything will work, right? Yes. So the answer is a 1 by 16. So assume that I wrote 1 by 16 this side. Okay, so again let us add. So it is a 1 by 8. So again we are, will be getting 1 by 8, right? Yes. And remember, in here, both the values are same. So I'm having an option like I can write on that side or this side. But whenever two of two values are different, always write the minimum value on the left and maximum value on the right side, guys. Don't get confused with that. Okay, yes. So 1 by 8 and 1 by 8, it will be 1 by 4. Again, 1 by 4 and 1 by 4, it is 1 by 2. Again, 1 by 2 and 1 by 2, it is a 1, right? Yes. So here, what are the variables, guys? It is A, B, C, D, E, and F. So let me take a 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So what is the value or bit value for A? It is a 0. For B, it is a 1, 0. For C, it is a 1, 1, 0. For D, it is a 1, 1, 1, 0. For E, it is a 1, 1, 1, 1, 4, 1, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 0. For F, it is a 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? Yes. So now here they are asking the average length of the thing, right? Yes. So let us understand now. Okay. So here how many bits we are having, guys? We are having 1 bit. Here we are having 2 bits. Here we are having 3 bits. Here we are having 4 bits. Here we are having 5 bits. Here we are having 5 bits. Okay. Yes. So now what we should do, guys? So we should multiply this value. So with our given values, right? So 1 into 1 by 2. So that's what we need to calculate and we find the average, right? Yes. Okay, yes. so let us uh, start. Okay, so 1 into 1 by 2, right? So let me write it down here so that will be clear. 1 into 1 by 2 plus, okay, similarly 2 into 1 by 4 plus, okay, 3 into 1 by 8, okay, plus 4 into 1 by 16, plus 5 into 1 by 32, plus 6 into 1 by 32, right? Yes. Okay. So let us take LCM, guys. For easy calculation, let us take LCM. So for first value, it will be 16. For second value, by 4, right? So it will. Uh, okay. So it is a 2 into 4. So again, it is 8, but 2 into 8 is 16. So again, it will be 16. Plus uh, uh, 4 into 3, that is a 12, right? Yes. 12 plus uh, here you will be getting 8. After that, you will get a 10, right? Okay. Okay, so anyway, let us continue. So basically, so just like, just a second, guys. So for this, it will be 16. For this, it will be 16. For this, it will be 8 4 the 32, right? So 4 3 is 12. For this, it will be 32 by 4, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So 32 by 4 will be 8. Okay. So 32 by 4 will be 8. So 8 into 4 is 32, right? So here you will get 32. Similarly, here you are having a 5 and plus 11, right? Yes. So whole divided by 32. So if you add it totally, it is nothing but, so let me take the calc. Okay. So 16 plus 16 plus 12 plus 32 plus 5 plus 11. Okay. So the answer is a 92, right? Okay. Okay. So let me cross check that guys. I think I'm doing some silly mistake here. So anyway, let us add the values directly, right? Yes. So one divided by two, right? Yes. So one divided by two is equals to 0. 0.5. Okay. So 0. 0.5. Okay, yes. So 0.5 plus, so here this value is 0.5. Again, this value will also be 0.5. Okay, so again, this value will be 3 by 8, right? So let me write it in this way. So 3 uh, divided by 8. Okay, so plus, okay, so then we are having 4 divided by 16. 4 divided by 16. Okay, so then we are adding, so we are done with this. So 5, so let me write it in brackets. 5 divided by 32 okay so then 6 divided by 32 
okay so at the end the answer is a 1.96875 guys okay so okay so exactly we are having option d could be the correct answer right so approximately so i think uh, even though after using calci i think i did some silly mistake so d will be the answer guys okay yes. so this is just a small basic question guys the only thing is you should not do any kind of silly calculation mistakes got it yes so now i hope everyone got a clear idea right yes so these half man coding questions are really easy the thing is you should be perfect with the drawing the tree and the bit conversion right yes so we'll be getting how many bits are used so in examination sometimes they will be asking how many bits are saved also so you need to be clear with that concept also okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you